Hey folks, another year's went by. Joe will be 15 very, very soon. I'm not going to give the day out it happens, but uh, short, we don't, I don't like broadcasting birth dates online. This is why I never give my age or <clears throat> uh, within two to three weeks of my date of birth out. Uh, and I would suggest you not either. We, uh, all of our birthdays online where we have to give a date of birth is a wrong birth date. And we will never be putting our birth date or other personal information online. And we suggest you do this. You do the same and keep that close in your vest pocket. Uh, because people can wreak havoc with your life if they get your personal information. So we don't do that. Um, a great week here, um, training-wise and school-wise. Uh, everything's peachy king. Uh, we had some issues. Uh, for those of you that's been watching our personal videos closely, uh, you see that uh, we tried to go to a league gym. Uh, it's the third league we've attempted to go to. And as usual, it's normal. I figured this place being offset from three other places and a little more distance between, there would be something different. But yet again, we go in and it's like one of these crazy uh, fake martial artists that are uh, using Tai Chi half-ass methods for self-defense and selling these courses online or getting people to go into their Tai Chi schools uh, teaching mess that doesn't work. It's the same thing. It's what they're doing in the boxing community uh, in the past two states here in Colombia that we've lived in. I know in Bogota and up in the coastal areas, I know in Cali and uh, Medellin and uh, Bogota that uh, they are teaching kids very well, uh, but around, and I'm sure other places as well. Um, there's a, a little place that uh, a friend of mine opened up a MMA gym in a little town uh, called Socorro, which is about 30 minutes away from a big whitewater rafting center. One of the pl best places in the world you can whitewater raft. Uh, about 30 minutes away from that place, which is Sand Hill. And it's a little town 30 minutes out from that called Socorro. And they've got an excellent gym there, uh, even in that little place. Uh, I believe uh, in some places here in Colombia um, that they've got some bad guys in before, and they've just walked along and proceeded along after these bad guys with more bad guys. And the league boxing here is... Uh, sponsored by the government, so it's political people in there trying to teach uh, young potential Olympians how to box, uh, or amateurs how to box in general, and uh, boy, it's, it's a mess. It, it's a mess. Uh, I could sit and talk for four more hours on this. Uh, it's a mess. I'll leave it at that. Um, we, uh, you know, we live in a big complex here. It's a beautiful place. Other than there being some kids that have caused some trouble here, uh, uh, which it stopped with Joe because Joe put the word out. But evidently, there's a few kids that didn't get the message. 
and we had some more equipment vandalized. So I don't have very expensive equipment in in our gym. Uh, I take the you know the reflex bag fits into the base, so I pull that up. I only let Joe use that. Uh, put a new uh, pair up for the speed bag platform, and somebody they, they didn't bust it, but uh, they were working on busting it because it. The leather covering separating on that, so I was like, no, they won't be using nothing of ours any longer. Absolutely nothing. Uh, for those of you that's been following us a while, you know that uh, Joe basically everything he hits, he tears up. It does, the, the stuff doesn't last long for him. Uh, as an example, I just put, hey, Joe. Could you do me a favor and grab me your black bag? This is just constant with us. A little over a month ago, uh, we got, I'm sorry, I should have grabbed it, but I'm going to get you to put it back for me, son. Just let me see this. Here. Where is this? Yeah. You can see right here, this is splitting in the seam up. This is a brand, almost brand new bag. You can put it back. It's got another one. Oh, it's splitting on the other side too. So it's splitting here and splitting here. Uh, he's, uh, I'm surprised that, that the covering is splitting on this bag actually because normally uh, I will get a little bit of a bulge in a bag and then he'll blow the bag up and uh, we've got a video if you go look on our page he's he's tore quite a few bags up he's ripping the hinges off of the speed bag platforms I mean, he's hitting good and I don't mind replacing equipment for that uh, I do mind it with these reflex bags because generally when it, when the bladder bust it sounds like a cannon going off and I can't take noises like that anymore i'm just i'm old folks and i just a lot i can't take no more and i'm really slowing down a lot now but uh uh you know other than the physical conditions i got i'm not getting sick or nothing that i know of and my health other than the conditions i do have is is good so i don't want anybody thinking that but uh i just i Boy, it sounds like somebody about right behind you because you're in a confined area. And when one of those bladders bust, boy, it, uh, it should probably take 50 balloons going off, but going off at the same second, millisecond, and something like that. It's like a cannon going off or a howitzer. Uh, it, 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 it's a lot to it. <laughs> So anyway, what I'm going to do with the reflex bags is I'm going to get a smaller kickball and uh, they've held up wonderfully and I went back to a uh, pair type bag on the reflex bag, but we're not going to be using those on the reflex bags anymore. Uh, and the reason, really I did that because the pair bag looks better, that's it, but Actually, when I'm going to put a round, uh, try to find a smaller type uh, kickball, I can't put a soccer ball on there because they weigh too much and it, it, it slows down the reflex time. But when I get the kickball installed on this thing at some point this week, I'll probably let him beat on this till he just bust it off. But uh, uh, the, when I get the ball on there, it'll re reflex even a lot faster. So, Joe will enjoy that. And uh, uh, so, everything's been going good. Joe's been doing two a days uh, practices. Um, he had some middle of the last nine weeks. Uh, He's got about three more weeks of school left to go. And he had a middle of the nine, last nine weeks 
test last week and in, and the week before. He made a hundred on all all those uh, exams, so he's just doing great. Uh, or mid mid nine week exams, and uh, everything's going forward. Joe's losing a lot of weight. We incorporated, uh, uh, but yet his strength is increasing. But we have incorporated a lot of wind sprints. In, in with his road work and that's taxing him and uh, uh, we're, we're back into doing a lot of these bobs modified hybrid burpees uh, which are remarkable uh, to do and very very extreme uh, the sprinting he's doing is very, well everything we're doing is very extreme very extreme. Uh, able to get him a couple of new jump jump ropes. Um, he was using a thin, thinner cord rope, and uh, he said, "Dad, I might like to have something in between the little cord rope, which is just as light as I'll get out. It's just for speed, and his real heavy rope." So we got him a one and a half kilo jump rope and then we got him another jump rope and he, well, he's enjoying both these jump ropes he likes them so that's good and uh we're just moving forward and proceeding uh joe put out a open challenge to the uh four leagues that are in the area here the four boxing leagues uh for anybody that's I believe he put 220 or 230 pounds down to 170 pounds. That is between the ages of 18 and 15. Uh, that he would like to have a good hard on spar with them. Of course, all these boys have seen this, and of course, as usual, there are no takers. Uh, I will, uh, I'm going to have to pay some MMA guys to spar with Joe uh, because we're, we're going to have to have paid sparring partners for Joe, period, because it's the only way anybody's going to get in the ring with him and let him cut loose. So I've resigned myself to that fact. Uh, it's not the worst problem in the world to ever have either. Uh, but it shows the character of boys that are soon developed into men are, is very dysfunctional at this moment in this world, uh, not just here. So, uh, so we're dealing with all of this. Joe's so mad. We don't know exactly who went up there and screwed around with his equipment again. One guard said it was the same guys, but two other guards said they watched the videos of it and that uh, 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 it was a different group of boys. So we're thinking it's a different group of boys. But one of the guards wrote all the boys' first names down and gave their... Uh, condo numbers to us and what towers the buildings they live in and we are he so he knows exactly who it is and knows them by first name at any rate uh, so I was like you know if you want to handle it Joe handle it that's how we work things up in and around here um, I want to suggest to parents before I finish this video if you think what's going on with us is extreme or offensive to your your small boy who's probably five foot ten to six foot tall, um, I will remind you all that even if you got a smaller kid, you need to toughen your kid up and remind you. You are living in a world where you can just walk in a store, convenience store, department store, grocery store, 
McDonald's or anywhere right now and mistake a man for a woman or a woman for a man and have to go straight on to fighting. This world is getting more violent on the outside of your house, mom and dad. And you can't coddle your kids like folks coddled kids in the 90s and the 2000s and the 10s, uh, like babies. And most of you that grew up during that time are still babies, although you're well into adulthood and probably have children now uh, that are growing up in, in the teens here. And uh, I'm giving you a strong warning and a strong suggestion. Uh, I see a lot of academic people that they don't believe in violence. Well, what you believe in and what's coming at you, your kid, as soon as your kid walks into this world, are two totally separate different things. You need to prepare your young, your young men to be able to get out there and survive it. And unfortunately, <coughs> the high school taekwondo league ain't going to be able to provide it for you. Trust me, I took two and a half years of that mess as a kid, and when men were men, and uh, it has it never benefited me to defend myself. Uh, but at least do something like that. Uh, it'll help your kid a little bit. Uh, but you need to prepare your kids for the violence they're going to meet outside your, your house. Uh, as to you academics... To a lot of you Christians that claim you love the Lord, yet you don't know nothing about Him. You don't know how really strong He was. You don't know nothing about a Bible that they, biblically, they raised their boys up strong and had them wrestling and tussling in contests, violent contests, tribalistic contests to prepare their children for this mean world. They did that. And I would suggest you do the same because many of you are worshiping a false Christ that you're hearing from the pulpit is love. But I'm telling you the same Christ that came and died for our sins also flooded the earth and killed everybody. Uh, you need to wake up and educate yourself if you label yourself a Christian and therefore, you want to be nice to the guy that's going to come murder your boy. Because uh, that ain't what the Bible says at all, and that's not the real world. So those are the two biggest groups. The rest of you boys out there, you're going to have to discipline yourself because you are parentless. Even if your mom and dad live in the house, a lot of you are parentless. And I pray for you, you boys every day, and I love you boys. Uh, I grew up, my father died, uh, I had to do my own bidding in many, many ways that maybe you're having to do now, and uh, be loving, be respectful, be honorable, be ethical, and be of good moral character in all that you do, and be in all seriousness, be in all seriousness. Because this world will chew you up and spit you out dead in a second flat. And chances are, young man, our young boy that's fixing to turn into a man, uh, chances are your parents are not equipped or knowledgeable enough to prepare you for this volatile world which they have handed you right now and don't even realize what they're doing. So... Everybody be careful out there. I want to let everybody know uh, little Diego that is working with Joe. I've ran everybody else off. Can't nobody take it. Can't nobody handle it. Uh, I tell these kids you want to come in and you want to train. Uh, there better be a, a 90 degree turn for good in you. And you you, you're fixing to be broke down and rebuilt back up. And uh, Diego, Small Diego has handled it. He is a champion. Small Diego is 
going to be a great, and he's just 14 now, weighs about 120 pounds. I was saying 25, but he weighs about 120. Uh, this kid has pushed the boundaries and come into doing very, very extreme stuff and graduated rapidly to somewhat being able to keep up with Joe. And if I had a hat on right now, my hats would be off to you, Diego. You are number one in my book, Diego. Uh, this kid has garnered, fought for, and earned my respect. And he is doing a 90 degree turnaround and just in these short 10, 15, or 20 days here, I'm seeing a boy turning into a strong, strong young man of seriousness and of boldness and goodness and of good character. And uh, the other boys that have come forward, they haven't made it. And I don't, I will not keep bad kids in around good kids for no amount of money in this world, no amount of anything in this world will I do that and keep these bad, heartless, non-serious, bad boys with a full of heart, strong, strong backbone, good boys. Because if I do that, I will, cre I will create no men. And I'm well aware of that. And if you're into those types of excuses, good, more power to you. I just hope the friends of mine never bring my children, never bring uh, my, my child, children will never be brought to you if you have that belief. And uh, I just pray that uh, my friends that are parents would never take their children to your dumb ass as well. Uh, because that's not... Uh, maybe if you are centering in on troubled youth and that's your center, yeah, you're going to have to do things like that. But... Uh, I'm not a social worker up in around here. I'll tell a kid, uh, you want to learn to box, you want to build your body up, you want to become a man, you want to be a good man, you want to be a strong man, you want to be a forthright man, come, come in here. If you don't cut it, you're out. You are out, Jack. Uh, no excuses. Uh, our workout time is our workout time. A kid comes up. By the time that minute hand hits 01, uh, it's too late. They ain't training with us. And I tell these boys, uh, let me give you a strong suggestion here. Get, get here 10 or 15 minutes earlier and you be sitting and waiting on me. But I will never be sitting and waiting on you. And, uh, Guess what? That's generally every place that you would uh, be able to keep a job at. So if you think that's demanding, uh, really it's not. And the reason why our younger kids and younger society are having problems now, there's zero discipline. They're getting taught false science like the Bible said they would be, science falsely so-called that they would be taught were there. Uh, uh, parents, we, we have father, too many fatherless families. Um, we have parents that are not, not being mother and father. whole host of problems that we have. Uh, but when these kids come to me, it's to correct those problems. And I cannot correct them if your kid is, is uh, I give one inch to them, they'll take ten miles. That's any kid. That's my kid, by the way, it's any, or, or my, my boy or my girl. Uh, so I'm aware of that. Sometimes I give them that inch, and they go ahead and take that mile, and I know it. Uh, I'm a good dad. I have leeway about me. But uh, when it comes to sports and school, there's a zero tolerance p policy with me. You're either going to do it or you're not going to do it. And especially with this boxing with Joe, and I'm so proud of him because he, I, I tell him, 
this is enough and he, he will continue and push that extra mile and a lot of what we get into is me trying to tell him hold back hold back hold back and uh, he's so into uh, boxing that I have to mandatorily get make him take these days off that we take off uh, it just work every day and I have, it's hard to get into him you've got to let your body and your muscle groups uh, recuperate and that's why we do different things on different days and whatnot you know elementary stuff with that uh, but you, you've got to have time off period you know and let your whole body rest up so uh, we worked six days this week uh, to today off and we'll be back at it tomorrow and uh, other than these few little problems, everything's going great. I just give out to the mothers and fathers, be careful. You need to be watching what these school systems are teaching your children. You need to be abreast of anybody that is holding a uh, position of authority with your children with them. You need to know what's going on. You can no longer rely on a school system, a church, uh, a police department, a fire department, you can't rely on anything, a babysitter, nothing. You have to be fully aware of where your child is, what your child is doing, and who are they with at all times. And punishments need to come out uh, when they go outside the area of freedom that you give them. And if you do not do that, you are, your child is headed for trouble. And mom and dad, you have shortchanged that child. Every time you hold back from uh, punishing the child, uh, it, uh, when you know you felt it in your heart, you needed to do something, and then and then that love comes in, that, which is a false love, uh, that, oh, I ain't going to do nothing. Uh, that's the start of your troubles, and it'll take you right down to, It'll take you from hell on earth right down to hell and hell. So be careful and be think about what you're doing. Everybody, I hope you have a great week. Uh, we're going to keep pushing forward. There will be some tournament stuff coming up. I don't know when it's going to be, but it will be soon. And uh, really, all I really need to do is find... Uh, is it going to be city A, B, C, or D? Because there's four places I know that they can fill the boy to take Joe on. Uh, it won't be nothing complicated about it. It's going to be like everybody else. He'll go there, knock them, spark out, and we'll come back to the house without a scratch on us. How do you know that? Because he's already done it 31 times, and it'll probably, probably be 91 times if we go full blast like we were doing uh, a, a little over a year ago or a year ago so um, we're going to get lined up maybe get him a fight every other a little tournament work every other month and uh, get to proceeding with that we're giving up on the area around here because there's simply no young men around here it's a lot of boys but no young men and uh no real training or anything like that going on. And I'm convinced there's some boys that would step up and would challenge Joe, but uh, their trainers won't let them do it because they know that <clears throat> as soon as Joe uh, functions his skills upon their boy, they're going to be discredited as the sorry trainers that they are, and they are sorry trainers. Uh, they need to... Like I said in another video, I'd be doing badminton classes or uh, tennis or something like that, but boxing, no. So everybody have a great week. Much love to you all. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you come upon this, uh, please go check some videos of Joe out on the channel here. And if you like what you see, give us a subscribe. Give us a try. Much love, folks.